why would a trained public school teacher choose to ditch the school system and educate her kids at home? Well, I'm actually going to tell you why I, a trained public school teacher, ditch the school system and educate my five kids at home and why you might want to do the same. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Jess from the blog SiloAndSage.com and here we talk about all things homeschool, homestead, and handmade. And today we're talking about why you should ditch the school system. Now, I know this isn't for everyone. You might not be interested in homeschooling, so maybe this will just give you a little food for thought. Or maybe it will give you a little bit of insight into a friend's life, a friend who chose to homeschool, or maybe it will be just what you need to say yes to homeschooling. Now, these seven reasons that I'm going to tell you, they are not the only reasons that someone might choose to home educate their kids, but they are definitely some of my top reasons. Now, if you don't know my story, I used to be a public school teacher. I have taught fifth grade and fourth grade and kindergarten and preschool all in my years of being a school teacher. And now I educate my five kids at home. They are ages 15 all the way down to six and we've homeschooled the whole time. My kids have never gone to public school. And some people find that a little odd that I was a public school teacher and I choose to educate my kids at home. But I actually have a very unique insight into the school system, having been a teacher and having taught in the public school system for years. Now, here's a big disclaimer. I think teachers work really, really hard, and I think there are a lot of really great teachers out there. So this video is not me bashing teachers, because I think that a lot of really good teachers have their hands kind of tied behind their backs when it comes to the school system, because the school system tells them how to do things, when a lot of teachers would do things a very different way if they weren't required to do things the way the school system says. Now that we got that out of the way, let me tell you some of the reasons that I chose to ditch the school system and some reasons that you might choose to ditch the school system too. Now, the first reason is flexibility. The flexibility of a homeschool family is amazing. Let me just tell you, you could sleep in if your kids let you, if your kids actually sleep in. You get to set your own hours. You do not have to school from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. like you do within a public school setting. You can school on the weekends and you can skip a bunch of days during the week. You could school year round. You could take an entire month off in the middle of the year if you wanted or needed to. You can school in the evenings. You can school during nap time when your littles are napping. There is so much flexibility in your schedule. There's no rushing out the door at 8 a.m. every single day unless you choose to if you are morning people and you choose to sign up for a co-op that gets you out the door at 8 a.m. Bless you. Bless you. That is not my thing. We like to sleep in a lot here at our house. <laughs> These teenage boys, they like their sleep. So flexibility of schedule is a huge reason that a lot of people choose to homeschool. A lot of people find that their kids work better in the afternoon than in the morning. So flexibility is a big reason. Another reason is to work at your child's pace, to release the pressure of timelines and performance and keeping up with the other kids because kids develop at such a wide range. If you watch my video about mistakes you might be making when it comes to teaching your kids to read, you heard me talk about the wide timeline when kids learn how to read. Now, this is true for all kinds of academic subjects, not just reading. And the truth is that when kids learn things at their own pace, their own ability level, without the pressure of needing to do it on a certain timeline, they tend to learn things, like things sink in a little deeper, they take more, more ownership, they're just ready to learn it. It takes away the struggle and the frustration of someone else's timeline. Reason number three to ditch the school system is to be able to teach your kids life skills that they wouldn't learn in a classroom. Everything from keeping a budget to 
keeping a home, learning how to create a laundry system and learning how to keep up on a house. That isn't just for girls, by the way. Boys need to keep up a home too, especially if they go off to live on their own before they get married. <laughs> Changing the oil on a car, um, learning how to care for um, mechanics like a lawnmower or DIY home repair, cooking. I want my kids to know how to cook by the time they leave them, leave my house. They don't have to be a gourmet chef, but I want them to know how to cook a simple meal. This is an important value of ours, and we get to spend a lot of our day doing all of these life skills, practicing all of these life skills that they wouldn't have time for in the school system. Another big one for us is to let kids learn about things naturally, to lean into natural learning or interest-led learning. This is huge for our family because I find that when kids are really interested in something, they're really engaged in a topic or a subject, when they really want to learn about something, they learn it quicker and they learn more about it rather than if they are just told, here's what we're gonna learn about and this is the outcome that I expect when we're done reading or learning or doing this activity. When kids get to learn things that they are interested in, it usually leads to more learning. And along that same line, the next one on my list is to let kids pursue their interests. And I'm not just talking about like subjects or topics they might be interested in, but thinking about what they actually want to do in the future or the things that you can kind of cater their education toward. Like I have a kid right now who wants to be an author when he grows up. And so his education is tailored around that, being an author. I have another child who really wants to go into something having to do with animals, whether it's like homesteading farming type animals or uh, maybe being a veterinarian or working at a zoo. He's not sure because he's young, but a lot of his education is centered on animals because that's what he's interested in. But my kids also get to pursue interests like woodworking and fixing bikes and um, gardening, things that are life skills, but also just things that they are interested in. I'm not telling them, go learn how to build a fort, but they're figuring it out. They're doing these, these things on their own because they are very interested in them and they have the time and the space in their day to do it. Okay, this one might ruffle a few feathers, but when you are in the school system, your kids are living and learning on the school system's agenda. And when you educate your kids, you get to drop whatever agenda the school system has and you get to teach your kids according to your own personal beliefs and values. And for me as a Christian, this is really important. I want my kids to have a foundation of faith. I want everything we do to be rooted in the Bible and to be rooted in our Christian faith and to be rooted in Jesus. And that is really important to me. And now you may have something different that's important to you, but whatever it is that is your value system, it may not align with what the school system's value is. And so you get to choose as a home educator, you get to choose what your values and your priorities are, and you get to base what you do in your home around that and not somebody else's agenda. I've been in a lot of classrooms where there's just a lot of busy work. Like kids are just doing work for the sake of doing work. And there's a lot of meaningless memorization of dates and things that really have no value in the future or that aren't going to stick with them for the next 10 years until they might need it in their, you know, studies in college or whatever their higher education might be. There are a lot of things that kids are doing in school that just takes up time and isn't necessary. So instead, we as home educators get to cut out all the fluff and the nonsense and the, you know, busy work, and we get to focus on the things that matter to us. We get to let our kids spend their time doing things like building forts and cooking and sewing and, you know, gardening and all these things that are important to them and important to us without just filling out worksheets for the sake of filling out worksheets.
Now, these are not all the reasons that someone would choose to homeschool their kids, but they definitely are some of the big ones and some of the big, most important ones for our family. Now, if you are kind of on the fence about homeschooling, you're not quite sure, I encourage you to go over to my website to go to silenceage.com slash homeschool, and I have two freebies that you could download. One of them is called I Want to Homeschool now what? <laughs> and the other one is called homeschooling without school. And these I think will help you get started on the right track. All right, the sun is going down. I'm about to lose my light. So make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will be back soon with another video. In the meantime, keep cultivating your home. Bye friends.